Okay guys, so I'm working on an F5A51 and uh, I just thought I'd just uh, share this video with you guys. I know there, there's not information out there for uh, sprag rotations on this, uh, on this uh, sprag here. Now whenever I disassemble something, I always have a, a sprag like this especially. I have a habit of marking it so uh, there is an X here so that's the way it went. But another thing that I want you to notice is that the sprag itself has an ID groove. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. This is a five-speed transmission. It's a Mitsubishi unit that it's in the Kias and on the Hyundai's 2007 and up. Now here we see the back of the sprag. Let me just set it right here. And if you see here, there is no uh, no marks at all. It's just plain flat. And if I flip this thing over, here you can see an ID groove all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. There's an ID groove all the way around. And this ID groove, like the uh, Toyotas as well, or and, and the uh, like the U140s, it, it faces you. So you put it with the ID groove facing you, then you uh, install your uh, snap ring. There we go. And here we have a, I didn't, I didn't put the reduction band in there. It does take a band. And this is the drum that uh, goes on that sprag. And that's the uh, uh, sprag raise. And it should be free counterclockwise and lock, lock to the clock. Counterclockwise free and it locks in the clockwise rotation. Counter free, lock the clock. Clockwise rotation, it locks to the clock. All right, F5A51, 2007 and up on a Mitsubishi or a Kia in Hyundai. Well, it's a Mitsubishi unit, but you will see it on the newer Hyundais and uh, Kia uh, vehicles. F5A51, it looks similar than the F4A. You have the band servo here. I already put the uh, the internals of the barrel of the case in the rear and then you have your uh, overdrive drum like in the four speeds you know normal here your normal pump but this one has actually a pipe that goes from here to the pump it's a little different and then you have your uh, transfer gear uh, final drive gear here and your normal filter down here like you see on the four speed so there we go F5A51 or F5A 5A sometimes uh, it's called like that counterclockwise and it locks to the clock ID groove facing you no ID groove on the opposite end and the reduction you put your re reduction band first and here you go counterclockwise free rotation and it locks to the clock Alright guys, well thanks for watching.